I will tell you guys what I was wrong about this Greninja. I was wrong about Twilight Masquerade, and we're going to jump into that. And I was also wrong about Temporal Forces. I've always come on here and admitted when I've been wrong. Can't call everything right. But starting with this Greninja, the chase card from Twilight Masquerade. I mean, it, it came out the gate at, at 150. When it spiked back up, I think, you know, I called that it was going to drop down, and I was saying it was going to be a sub $100 card, but whoo! The market is proving me wrong. Look at this. This is 183, but some of these last sales, as you guys can see right here, 220, and the listed average price is $269. This card is going to be a $250 card before we know it, and part of it has to do with how difficult this card is to pull. It's extremely difficult, So, and it's getting a lot of hype. And I do like the card a lot. I still think that that, that it's overvalued at this price, but whew, man, the market is agreeing. Um, if you want to check eBay sales as well, we can hop over to eBay. These are last sales. Um, a little more fluctuating on eBay, but 205, but then you, you go down a little. Uh, yesterday we had a 228 sale. So, and then if you want to check out um, the last PSA 10 sale, 570. So that is well over doubling the uh, card value there from a $200 to $570. So the Greninja EX is absolutely looking good. Twilight Masquerade. Let's dive into the set a little bit. Let's talk about some of these cards and we'll, we'll take a deeper dive into some of them. So obviously the Greninja is the chase, but the Carmine is holding steady at 100. And so keep in mind, this set is newer. It's been... Mm, not quite a full month, but pretty much a full month. We'll just call it a month. And I thought that some of this stuff would have cooled off. And we have seen some cards cool off. Um, there is no question about that. We'll dive into some of these. But um, a lot of them are holding strong, which is really surprising. So, you know, you got two cards over $100 right now, which is insane. And, and the Greninja really just taking off, right? But then Perrin at 70 the uh, Blood Moon or Saluna at 50 and then, so like the Eevee at 40, I I never would have thought that the, like, albeit one of my more favorite cards from this set, you know, probably my favorite besides the Perrin and the Growlithe that go together, um, but who would have thought this would be at the $40 range? I mean, like 40, 39, 30, like look how many cards we have over $20, all of these, these top cards from here up, over $20. The chance he's holding at 15, I mean... I might have been wrong about this set, guys, because um, I, I did make a video a while back saying that I didn't like it, and I kind of thought it was trash. And just because I don't like a set doesn't mean it can't be good, or you know, and the cards can't be worth money. Still, not the biggest fan on it overall, but you know, the market is proving me wrong for sure. If you want to take a look at the booster boxes, this is probably one of the more interesting things I think is the sealed box prices. Now, this. They, these boxes just they're they're not going under under a hundred, which is kind of crazy because we were seeing, you know, all the other Scarlet and Violet sets. You know, you were able to pick them up for in the eighties for sure, um, and like low nineties for, you know, after their release. But they're we're seeing strength there at a hundred and ten a box, one hundred nine, one hundred eight, one hundred nine, one ten. You know, um, and the listed uh, median price is one twenty four. So Twilight Masquerade is performing really well. Uh, we'll hop into the Carmine here real quick so you can see what happened. See, obviously it came out of the gate at 120 and it dipped down below 100 and I thought it was going to just keep going as well. You know, a trainer card, albeit it's a nice trainer card, and it popped back up to 120. And it did dip down below 100, but it is on the rise again, over 100 on TCG Player, which is just crazy. Um, you got the Perrin, which... I love how it goes with the Growlithe, really. I, I do. The I like those cards that connect like that. And it started, it started lower, popped out to about 80, dipped back down, back up to 80, and now it's it's on its way down again, which, you know, this kind of more makes sense that it would be on its way down now. Some of, the, some of these cards have to come down. Uh, but you never know if this is just going to run up. <laughs> but um, I never thought that this card was going to be anywhere near this value when I initially saw it. So well, once again, it's most likely the pull rates are a lot tougher in this set. So pull rates are having having a lot to do with some of this, but still, 
Um, if you want to check eBay here, I try to check multiple sources. You know, last sold was 80, 80 and 82 for the parent on eBay. Um, then this card, this is like more of what we see for our typical um, new release set. You know, it's not a chase card, but it's definitely up there. It, it came out the gate at 100 and it's slowly climbed, although it is hitting a little bit of a rebound. Now, I don't know if this is going to take off again like some of the other cards because this card could be real difficult to pull. Uh, being a, you know, a tough pull. And I do like this artwork. I was waiting for this card to drop um, at least down to the 30s before I started um, wanting to pick it up personally. But, man, like, I really honestly can't believe, like, this could, this could be the start of a, if we zoom in a little bit, we got a little bit of an uptick, just a tiny bit, from 49 to 51. This could be the start of another uptick, or it could just be could just be a quick up and it, it could continue to drop. Once again, I think pull rates are going to dictate that people are going to recognize these cards are rare, so this could be the start of another run-up. Uh, it's really kind of difficult to tell for sure at this point. We don't really know, um, and it's kind of impossible, especially with a newer set like this, to really tell what exactly is going on with Twilight Masquerade, but, you know, I mean, I, I want to bring it back up again. I want to bring up the Greninja. If you look on the one month, it, it's, whew. But yeah, man, that three month chart looks good. Um, yeah, I, I was wrong, guys. I admit it. Um, yeah, Twilight Masquerade. I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to bomb more. But uh, it's, it's looking like a solid set so far. Time will tell, right? We need more time in the market for this set to really know exactly what's going on. But um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to talk about... I wanted to give the Greninja its due and Twilight Masquerade its due because um, I don't need to say anything more. They deserve it, right? Give them some time in the spotlight. But uh, I think next video I'm going to focus on another set that I was a little bit wrong on as well. So kind of the same thing. And that'll be tomorrow's video. So if you guys were this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, do yourself a favor hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.